Hi everybody, thanks for watching. So today I just want to do a really quick test. You know, I've done some testing on how cold weather affects the battery life and the flight time of the Mavic Pro. Well, today I've been given the opportunity to test out some high temperatures. As you can see, it's 102 degrees today. And so I want to see what the effects are of flying in hot weather. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Russ and this is 51 Drones. Feel free to click on the subscribe button and also click on that little gray bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if I give you anything of value today, please click on the thumbs up as well. So like I said, I've done some testing with cold weather because it's cold where I live more than it's warm, but today it's been pretty warm. And I thought, what a good day to test out how the Mavic Pro flies in hot temperatures. Now the humidity is actually pretty low Normally we have some pretty high humidity here, but today I think it's like 15% and it's 102 degrees. And so what I did is I left one of my Mavic Pro batteries outside for a couple of hours. So this one's been sitting here on my deck in the shade uh, for the last two hours. The one that's on there right now is, uh, has been inside, but it's probably warming up pretty fast. Let's go ahead and check out the temperature of it before we take off because I want to see how much it goes up as we're flying. So right now it's at 32 degrees Celsius and climbing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how much flight time I can get. And we're gonna keep an eye on that battery temperature uh, all the way down to 20%. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it up in the air here. So we are starting at 97% battery as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hover right here uh, in my yard because Number one, for safety reasons, you know, if anything goes wrong, uh, sometimes heat can affect how your drone reacts. And so I'm not gonna fly it anywhere so we're not around any people or anything like that. The only thing we have to worry about is wrecking my house. So, <laughs> but I'm just gonna let it hover here. We're gonna stay at about 100 feet and we're gonna bring it from 98% all the way down to 20%. We're gonna bring it back down and then we're gonna put on the battery that's been sitting outside, the battery that's kind of preheated I guess probably not a smart idea I know some of you are probably gonna say I'm a moron for doing that but it's really not that warm uh, but we're gonna check it out and see if that makes any difference because what I'm trying to do actually simulate having your battery and your Mavic Pro and everything in your vehicle and then going out and flying on a hot day uh, versus having everything at room temperature and then going out and flying on a hot day so we're gonna go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through this whole thing. I'm gonna put a timer on it and see how much flight time we get. And then occasionally I'm gonna check the battery temperature so you guys can see you know, how it's affecting battery temperature. So here we go. Okay, we're kind of coming up on 20% now. As you can see, we're running just under 11 volts and we're at about 63 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 145 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back down right now. Okay, so let's just check the temperature one more time. We are at 64 degrees Celsius on that battery and we got just over 18 minutes of flight time, 18 minutes and we'll say, we'll just count that. Let's say 18 minutes and 43 seconds of flight time. We'll count the time uh, from when we launched until we landed. So 1843 and we got up to 64 degrees Celsius. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take the Mavic Pro back inside. I'm gonna let it cool down just to keep the test consistent. I'm gonna leave this battery out here uh, in the 102 degrees uh, temperature in the shade and uh, I'm gonna let the Mavic Pro get back to room temperature. So I'll probably give it about 20 minutes to do that. And then I'll put that battery on and see what our starting temperature is and see what our flight time is. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's about 15 minutes later. I did let the Mavic Pro cool off just a little bit. And we have the new battery on there now, the one that was sitting outside for a couple of hours. So let's go ahead and check the starting temperature. We are starting at 42 and a half degrees Celsius. So we're starting quite a bit warmer. I think we started at 32 degrees on that first battery. So 
Let's go ahead and get it up in the air. Let's wait till it gets down to 98% actually, so it's accurate. All right, so we're starting at just over 43 degrees Celsius, so about 10 degrees Celsius warmer than the first one. And we're just gonna check out the flight time now. Keep in mind, we are hovering, we're not flying around, so probably not a real accurate test, but uh, from A to B, comparing one to the other, I do wanna see if there is any difference on there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this again. I'll flip between the uh, battery screen and the regular screen, just like this. And we'll just keep an eye on that, and then we'll see you in just a second. We're just coming up to 20% right now, and we're at 66.7 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back down. All right, so from 98% to, well, that was 18%, but pretty much the same as the first one. It, uh, it actually got more flight time, 19 minutes and 54 seconds. So almost 20 minutes of flight time using the battery that was sitting outside for two hours in 100 degree, 102 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. And we started at about 10 degrees warmer Celsius on that battery. These batteries are about the same as far as uh, number of flights. I will double check them and I'll put them on, up on the screen here as well as the uh, comparison of the flight times and the comparison of the temperatures. I think we got up to about 154 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with this one. So it did get a little bit warmer than that first battery because we did start with a warmer battery. Uh, but I'm really surprised that we actually got more flight time. Not significantly more, but we did get more flight time. So. Maybe it could be the difference in, uh, in the life of the battery and the number of flights that I've had with each battery, but I guess I won't know till I put it up on the screen here. But, um, but yeah, it didn't look like there was any decrease in flight time with 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So keep in mind that was just hover time, that was not uh, flying around. And I didn't want to risk flying around uh, in these high temperatures because I didn't want anything you know, to happen for it to lose control or lose connection or anything like that. But, uh, you know, so that's another variable. I didn't get very far away. I was only 100 feet up in the air and I was directly underneath it. And so, you know, connection issues, there wasn't anything there. And so, so I didn't really see any problems flying in the heat. And so guys, I hope that helped you out. If it did, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button. If you have any questions about it, if you have any comments, put those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching today. As always, fly safe and fly smart.